It is, even on a grey and miserable day, an idyllic setting. Acres of rolling green farmland, homes nestled among sprawling forests, a picture of quiet country village life. But on a Sunday afternoon in August 2022, the peace was shattered by a sudden act of violence. Christine and Ian Rawl were arguing in a stable just behind the isolated bungalow they shared here in Knoll in North Devon. As the row reached its peak, Christine picked up a large kitchen knife and plunged it 10 centimetres into her husband's back. He followed her for a short time through the fields, begging her to remove the weapon before collapsing. Oh God, oh God, why couldn't have someone stopped him? Keep doing this to me. Emergency <laughs> services were called, but they could not I save so... Ian Rawl, and Christine Rawl was arrested on suspicion of murder. He'll come and get me. Hmm? He'll come and get me. He'll come and get me. He'll kill me. The following day, Mrs. Rawl was in custody, being interviewed by police detectives. She claimed she had no memory of inflicting the blow which killed her husband. I don't remember actually holding it, but the fact is I was the only person there. He didn't stab himself, did he? Over the course of six hours of interviews, Mrs. Rawl claimed she'd been abused, tortured and sexually assaulted by her husband. I said to him, we can't go on living like this. Eventually, the case ended up in Crown Court, where a jury of seven men and five women heard weeks of quite extraordinary evidence. The court was told Mr. and Mrs. Rawl would play pranks on each other. One witness said she would put Viagra in his tea chilli powder in his underpants and wipe her backside with his ties. The couple were compared to characters from the Roald Dahl story, The Twits. Then there was the explosive video evidence. He works as a council f foreman. That's hardly a brain surgeon, is it? Who do you think you are? You don't even know how long you've been married. Mrs. Rawl would secretly record arguments with her husband on her mobile phone. They would row about money work, her health, their children, and the state of their marriage. Why have I got to go to work? Why? You go to work because you want to go to work. No, to keep us afloat. What do I get out of it? How dare you? You're the one with a drink problem. I'm going to drink problem. I don't drink. You do. You're an alcoholic. After a complex and engrossing trial, Christine Rawl has been found guilty of murder. I've spoken to several people here who knew the couple. They've told me, first of all, of their shock of that day as police and ambulances descended on this rural community, and also their memories of the couple. One husband and wife who live nearby told me the rules would often argue they believe the couple were not happy together and that they weren't right for each other from the beginning. Friends, neighbours and family members spoke in court both in support of Mrs. Rawl and against her. Some witnesses gave evidence from behind a screen. Such was the sensitivity of what they had to say. This case has painted a vivid picture of a deeply unhappy family life. It's clear that what happened here two years ago will live long in the memory of this quiet community and of course in the minds of the family members who are left behind. Sam Blackledge, ITV News in North Devon.